That was NBA Executive Vice President of Basketball Operations Kiki Vandeweghe explaining the decision on SportsCenter to Scott Van Pelt to fine and not suspend Draymond Green for that kick in the groin area to Stephen Adams in Game 3. Stephen A., were you happy with this decision? I was ecstatic um, because I don't want any excuses. Um, I, I want Golden State or Oklahoma City uh, to win or lose fully loaded. I don't want anybody gone. I don't want anybody injured. I don't want anybody suspended. I don't want anybody prohibited from playing in the game. And I understand that there are people out there that are saying it's not fair. You know, rules are rules, and, 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 and you know, you got to follow the rules. Well, you know what my man Jeff always tells me? Fair is a place where they judge pigs. It doesn't exist. And I don't give a damn about fairness. I give a damn about making sure. And when I watch the Western Conference Finals tonight, I see a team that's fully loaded. Now, again, I, I'm not condoning anything that happened. I don't believe it was intentional on the part of Draymond Green. I believe that he's always flailing. He's always kicking his legs. He's always trying to sell a call. And I think that was the situation here. Now, those who believe otherwise, I can understand how they would believe that seeing the play. But if you don't know for sure, if there's a scintilla of plausible deniability, then I think that's something that has to be exercised and entertained. And ultimately, you can't suspend them for this game. And I was proud of the league office with Adam Silver and Mr. Kiki Vandeweghe reaching that conclusion because I thought it was the right conclusion. Conclusion. Having said all of that, Draymond Green ain't off the hook now. He got to play tonight, but he's played like straight garbage the last two games. Guys are blowing by him. He's not rebounding with abandon. He's got a grand total of 16 points in the last two games of a Western Conference Finals. That's not the guy who was registering more than, more than a dozen triple doubles for us this season. He's got to show up and play the way that he's capable of playing if Golden State is going to beat Oklahoma City. But if they can't beat Oklahoma City, I wanted it to be with Draymond Green on the court, not off the court. And the fact that he's on the court tonight for game four makes me very very happy because I always thought there's several rules that, you know, everybody looks at me, I'm a Knicks fan, and remember when former Commissioner David Stern, great Commissioner David Stern, suspended Patrick Ewan and a bunch of players with the melee in Miami and all of this other stuff. I have always held that against David Stern. I always thought the rule was absolutely positively idiotic and stupid, where if you stepped over the line, all of a sudden it was automatic suspension. You ain't even involved in any fisticuffs or anything like that. You just reacted and then caught yourself and stepped back, but damn it, you stepped over the line, so you you got to get suspended. I always thought that was asinine. And I'm glad to see that the league exercises common sense and is very judicious um, in its approach. Because we all know if it was David Stern, not only would Draymond Green have been suspended, he'd have been suspended yesterday by 9 in the morning. This stuff that comes down in the 6 o'clock hour, actually 7 o'clock, came, came, yeah. uh, came down at yeah. 7. You know, when people are home for work, going home from work, and they, don't get, and they don't have their cell phones on them, and they don't have to take calls after hours, so you don't have to answer the criticisms. We all know why they take so damn long. But... David Stern wouldn't have cared. He would have made that decision by 9 in the morning. He's suspended. He's not playing. And that would be that. I'm glad that was not the case here with Adam Silver and the NBA. I applaud their decision. It was the right call. Now if Oklahoma City wants to be the man, let them go out and beat the man. You know, I told you yesterday, you were speaking more with your heart than your head. And, and seriously, from my heart, I appreciated that because I am very conflicted about this because you know how big a fan I am of this game. I'm an NBA nut. And like you, I am very happy that Golden State will be at full strength tonight for what should be a pivotal, pivotal. Mm -hmm. It's this season. Must watch do or die, here we go kind of right. a game. It's going to be the most important game that we have seen yet in this NBA season, mm -hmm. played by any other any teams, right? This is it tonight. So do I like it that Draymond Green is in the starting lineup? I do. But here's my takeaway. I thought the NBA, in the end, sacrificed what's right for what's best. And when I say what's best, best for the fans, best for the players, best for their broadcast partner, who is in this case obviously TNT, for the, for the sake of the, the entertainment business that they're in, that's what's best. What's best is to overlook this. What was right was to suspend Draymond Green for an obvious kick to the privates. I'm, I'm sorry, it was just blatantly right, but I, I get it. So if we're back to what's best, 
What's best is to keep Draymond in tonight's starting lineup. So what was best for Kiki Vandeweghe and our new commissioner was to wait all day long until the 7 o'clock hour, let it bleed into the night, and I knew it. I was with you. Like, like I knew if we didn't hear about this before noon, he's going to be in the starting lineup. And then it was up to Kiki to spin this and sell this as Draymond was flailing, trying to sell the call, and he made accidental contact. I'm sorry, that's baloney to me. I, I don't see it. I don't think a lot of people see it. I don't think most people I respect saw that. But in this case, it, it wasn't that the NBA is protecting a superstar, but it, I don't think either one of us would call Draymond a superstar. He's not a superstar. But he is an extremely important part of a team that won an NBA record 73 games. It's a star team with the most popular player in the NBA right now. Is there any debate about that? It's Steph Curry, right? He is a back-to-back -back MVP. He is a unanimous MVP. And so I believe the NBA, for the sake of entertainment, made the decision. I think they made it two nights ago, you know, like right after the game. We cannot suspend him. He's too important to this game because this team is too important to TNT. It could be an ESPN if we had had that game also. But going forward, it's just too important to our entertainment product to keep Draymond afloat. So, Stephen A., I sit back and, and look, by tonight we will all have forgotten this, but I, I got to tell you, as a fan, it also leaves me sad for the NBA. It just does because it, oh, it's, a, it's a bad look. No, it's come. a bad, sad look that what, what should have been done wasn't done. I, I was with Jeff Van Gundy, and he said it on last night's broadcast. I, I was in, in the realm of, this, this isn't just a one-game suspension. This could be two. And Jeff said, I didn't know if it was going to be a one- or two-game well, suspension listen, instead listen. of a no-game. Well, I, we all know I'm very fond you know? of and I respect the heck out of Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson and those boys. I disagree with all of them, and I, don't, and I disagree with you, and I don't care what anybody has to say. First of all, it wasn't that obvious to me in terms of his intent. It was obvious what happened, but it wasn't obvious as it pertains to his intent. That's point number one. Point number two, I see former disciplinary czar of the NBA, Stu Jackson, coming out making sure his voice is heard, all right? And he's he, talking about how... Everywhere. He, yeah, he's talking about how he would, you know, it, 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 it's nice. I know he wants mm -hmm. a TV career. I wish him nothing but the best. I he's hope actually, he gets he's it. Very he's very good. On good. TV and radio. I actually like him. I actually like, and I like him as a person too. Yep. Okay, but here's the deal. I disagree with him. I recall Serge Ibaka hitting Blake Griffin in the groin in 2013. If I remember correct, I think it was like March of 2013. Stu Jackson was the disciplinary the, the disciplinary czar then. You know what Stu Jackson did to Serge Ibaka? I believe it was a twenty-five thousand dollar fine. So you know what? I understand everybody. It's I'm all, hazy on the, the play. I'm hazy, hazy on. A, I'm hazy on the play yeah. as well. But my point to you is that it's all subjective, and to act like it, listen. I don't believe it was intentional, but I understand and respect the fact that I'm in the minority. There are a lot of people that disagree with me, and I get that. My attitude is this: How is it bad to do what's in the best interest? of the game. Now, when you sit there and talk about it's right or what's the best, I'm sorry, damn it, we matter. Last time I checked, those prices to NBA games ain't cheap. The television deal that they got with TNT and ESPN ain't cheap. It's worth billions. And we want to see the players play. You know what? And the fact of the matter is, let me also say this, Skip. On the football field, guys get to deal with each other. On, on, in hockey, guys get to deal with one another. In baseball, guys get to deal with each other. Even when they get suspended, they get to appeal and still be on the field, and they go out there until their appeal is heard and all of this other stuff. But in the NBA with, 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 with the brothers, all right, something happens, and then all of a sudden you can't play. You out immediately, and you're not allowed to play until you serve your time. Damn that. I want to see the best players playing. I want the outcome dictated by the okay. players on the court. And by the way, if that means I'm sacrificing doing what quote unquote is right as a, in favor of what's in the best interest of all parties involved, yep. the fans, the players, the organizations, the league, the networks, I'm sorry, the lives of the many outweigh the lives of the okay. few. Spock said that, and that's where I'm going okay. with this. I got no problem with it whatsoever. None. Are you into Spock? I like Spock. I, I like Spock. I don't even know Spock. A lot of references I'm, I'm today. I like Spock. All right. 
Your man, Mark Jackson, my man, Mark Jackson, yes. also said last night, made this point. First of all, he called it a dirty play. Okay. And it was a dirty play. Okay. Now, he asked the question. I disagree with all of y'all, but go ahead. Pose the question, which I'm going to pose back to sure. you. Sure. If Steven Adams had kicked, let us say, Steph Curry in the midsection, what would have happened? Right, right. Same kick to right, Steph Curry's right, midsection. Right, right. What happens? That's absolutely true. He probably gets suspended. Thank you. All right? Maybe. But here's the deal, Skip Bayless. You're talking to the wrong man. See, I'm not Mark Jackson. I'm not Jeff Van Gundy. Probably, they're probably better than me in some respects, but that's life. Here's the thing. I'm not apologizing for the fact that, you know, certain people get privileges that others don't. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Listen, if somebody sits up there and they act up on a basketball court and they get ejected, that's entirely different than LeBron James getting ejected. It's entirely different. If, if, if you want to, if, if Kobe's complaining to the refs, for example, and, and Swaggy P, Nick Young, is complaining to the refs, who do you think's gonna have more latitude? Let's stop. Can we please take our head out the sand, okay? okay? In the media business, let's take the media business. You know something, Skip Bayless? Everybody ain't you, my man. You understand? Know they ain't you. You can, you can get away with stuff most people can get away with. I can get away with stuff most people can't get away with. You know why? Explain. Because they, they, they ain't us. They ain't us, okay? I, That's I don't the think way I get away with a uh, thing. Oh, you must Murder. be crazy. Uh? Please. You? <laughs> Me? You? Mr. Oh, you got, you got to be crazy. You get no. mean in the high maintenance. You need to stop. <laughs> yes. 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 You. The guy you. who shows no, up no, and no, his head no, down. No, no, yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. really? Okay, whatever. <laughs> the point is, is that everybody ain't us. And okay. that's the way it is. All right. Star Listen, people who are stars have star, I'm not talking about us right now, but who have star cachet, they get treated differently than those who don't. Okay. It's the it. American way. Get over it. Okay, here, get here, over here's it. That's my issue with it. So what? Okay. Look, Stephen Adams has had the reputation, some of it self-inflicted, of being a, a villain, like a wrestling heel, mm -hmm. right? Over the last, you, you get any good texts? Yes, I did, yeah. but I'm not going to tell wanna you. You want to read them? No, I can't. Okay. I can't do that. I Chris do. Rock? Somebody no? just called out Stu Jason? Jackson, but I'm going to leave okay. that alone. All right, Go fine. ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. So here's my point about Draymond. Right. I, I respect the heck out of his triple-double game. How can I not? He, he is a driving force, heart and soul player of this 73-win team. Right. But... Is he exactly an angel on the court? Is he a model citizen on the court? Do you see anybody in the league complain more blatantly to officials than Draymond Green does? He is in their faces. Like, he gets away with hold near on. murder in, in the hold context on, hold of on. basketball. I recall folks saying the same thing about Magic Johnson when he was playing. But he's magic. Well, he did it with a but, smile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I well, see. Yeah. So, 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 well, now, so, so now, so now, so now, you gotta, gotta, cool so now you gotta have the right facial complexion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have the, to the, sell it. You have to be, oh, really? be a PR I, director. Listen, the bottom line is very, yeah. very simple. I don't see the intent that you see with Draymond Green. I am not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying I don't view it the way you do. I didn't view it the way Mark Jackson viewed it. I didn't view it the way Jeff Van Gundy did it. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. Do you know for a fact that it was intentional when there's various video out there showing how he tries to sell calls, flails his arm, flails his feet? There's plenty of video out there. Not to mention, again, there have been times like the... Stu Jackson situation I pointed out from March of 2013 when the man sat up there and was in a position to evoke discipline and only fine Serge Ibaka $25,000. I got nothing but mad respect and love for Stu Jackson and you and Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy. I don't give a damn what any of y'all say. I respectfully disagree. And you can't definitively tell me I'm wrong. So if you can't definitively and, tell and me I'm wrong. you can't tell me. I'm not, I'm not telling you you're I'm wrong, wrong. But I'm not telling you you're wrong. Okay. I'm saying you can't tell me I'm definitively wrong. Well, how can't? I don't know so what's going on. Let, Let me finish. I don't know. Let me finish. So because you can't tell me. You, Mark Jackson, Jeff Van Gundy, Stu Jackson, and others can't tell me I'm definitively wrong. 
That means there's plausible deniability. It's open for debate, and I'm going to roll, and I'm going to roll with keeping the team intact. So if Golden State goes down, there's no excuses. Tonight, you're fully loaded. There's no excuses, Golden State. Your season is on the line. You lose this game, it's a wrap. You ain't beating OKC three straight. What you going to do? I don't want any excuses. I don't want any excuses. That's all I wanted. And Adam Silver and Kiki Vandeway gave it to me. Mm -hmm. And to them, I say, thank you very much Mm -hmm. for not messing with this game. Period. And just as Kiki said that Draymond was flailing, I I think you're flailing with your argument. It's okay. It's okay. How am I flailing? How am I flailing? I see it's plausible deniability. Hey, hey, oh, hey, please. Hey, hey, listen. Please, hey, listen, stop hey, it. Listen, do you know where I, stop you it. Know where I got the f- plausible well, deniability I, I, from? From the Reagan administration? Reagan administration yeah. with, with Oliver yeah. Northern. Yeah. It's all about okay, plausible it. deniability. It. It's all about, th- can you prove it? Okay. Can you prove it? I, I can't prove no. it. So last question. I can't. Last question. This occurred to me. What if Golden State had won that game and been, been up 2-1? to one? Then what happens off that play? Does he get suspended if Golden State's up 2-1? to one I don't know. Gonna... I don't know. That's a very uh, good question. Uh, I say I have no, he, I, listen, he gets listen, suspended. Listen, listen, listen. I have no idea. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is that, guess what, Skip? My position might not be as resolute. Maybe not. If they had won and they were up 2-1. Because I don't want excuses. You see what I'm saying? So I, that, we, that, we did this only in the best interest of the hey, entertainment hey, value hey, of on. this basketball hey, wait, game. Listen, you Are act, you happy? Hold on, tell me, tell me, tell me. You act like that is a bad thing. I'm well, sorry. I'm sorry. You listen, did listen, sacrifice listen. It's excuse right. me. It's all oh, stop it. Just sanctimonious uh, stuff. It's sanctimonious. A lot of gray it's area here. The world is gray. <laughs> the world is gray. gray. Okay, that happens sometimes. The it world is, is gray. Yeah. All right. That's what it is. Yeah. Clear and present danger. That's the line that was used in there with Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. The world is gray. I actually just read the, the world, book. The by world Tom is. I read the book too by Tom Clancy. It was a very good book. But the world is gray, Skip. Sometimes everything ain't black and white. Sometimes it's gray. It's okay. It's okay. The best interest. Adam Silver and Kiki Vandeway made me proud today. Very good. Good. Very good way to go, guys. Very good way to go. I'm very proud. I've known Kiki forever, and I got to congratulate him on his spin doctrine. Hey, listen. listen. It was really good. It was beautifully done. I I, I was impressed. I actually I almost bought it. I I must admit, I actually thought I could have done a better job of spinning Mm. than Kiki. I thought Kiki (laughs) could have done a better job of spinning. He tried. He tried. Maybe you have a second career. Mm. No. You're busy enough. Absolutely. I'm busy enough. Yeah, you are. If it was a career in the NBA, president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks, I'd do that. You would do that? That That's it. That's it. That's the only job I would do. commissioner of the NBA? No. No? No, I think, I I personally think the job is relatively boring myself. I, from night to night, it's, it's. No, I'm talking about to be the commissioner. Yeah. Because you're in the office. He likes to be out in the I want, I want to be a back. Yeah. You could go to every game. But president of basketball is shaking hands all the time. President of basketball operations for the New York Knicks. I, I do that. And then you'd have the next I Stephen do A. Smith all over you I, every I do, day. I, I do that. I, I guarantee you this much. My, my, my job uh, performance could compete with Phil Jackson's. I would hope so. I, I guarantee mm. you that. Mm. I guarantee you that. Yeah, I said it. We'll leave it there. Shades of gray here on First Take. This next subject, some NFL news to get to. Also gray as well. The NFL, have they been influencing concussion research? This could be a very bad look for Roger Goodell in the league. We will discuss it after the break. Stay here.